Okay, welcome to a video tutorial on how to set up your Smart Boy Dev Kit. Uh, congratulations if you own one. These are super limited and probably be hard to find quite soon. So um, for the most part, it's a, cool, a pretty simple setup. Uh, we do have instructions listed um, right here. So when you get your Smart Boy package, you'll see this website to our GitHub. So um, a written version of the of this tutorial will be there and actually already is. So uh, let's just jump right in. So first and foremost, uh, we are using a uh, Samsung Galaxy S7 Edge for this um, example or for this tutorial. So what we're going to need to do is the first and foremost is first unlock it. And we're going to need to go to settings. And from settings, we're going to have to enable third party applications or unknown sources. So I know for other phones, um, this may be uh, in a different location, maybe under your application setting, or might be called something else besides unknown sources. Like I said, it may be called third-party application um, installations or something along that nature. So after that, what we're gonna need to do is install um, an emulator to make the smart boy work. So you can, for the most part, try any um, emulator you want out there. However, we do make the recommendation of using a particular one called My Old Boy. Uh, my old boy is a Game Boy um, Color um, emulator, and it pretty much works with almost everything. So, um, for the sake of this tutorial, we have already downloaded it. But just to give you an idea, this is it right here. And the most important thing that we have to make sure is that we allow um, all the permissions. So this includes media and all that other stuff. But in case you're wondering what it looks and sounds like, this is it right here on the Google Play Store. It's roughly one megabyte, so you just need to connect to Wi-Fi really quickly to enable it. So uh, now that we've done those basic setups, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up the package. Ta-da! And mind you, this is our internal build. Uh, a, the one that your guys are getting is the exact same thing, however, uh, your cable's gray, ours are black. Don't ask me why. So we'll just put that to the side for right now. And this is your smart boy. So you got your L and R uh, triggers up here. Uh, AB, um, start select, and your D-pad. And you have your release for your phone. So that way it adjusts accordingly to larger phones. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna insert the, the phone, of course, into the smart boy. So uh, we are using a double-sided uh, micro USB. So that way it'll fit into whatever orientation. So, okay, just do that. And now it's a nice snug fit. So what we're going to do is we're gonna to have to, let me refocus the camera. Okay. We're gonna to have to open up uh, my old boy. Oops, sorry. Which is right here. So once we're in this, you're going to have to do one or two things. You also have to make sure, depending on your, uh, and this doesn't happen for everyone, but as you can see, there's um, some stuff at the bottom of, this, of the smart boy. There's PC mode, which is if you're going to be um, doing some dev work via your PC. But of course, it, since we're using our phone, we have to make sure that this is switched to phone. So just FYI. So once we inserted our phone into the smart boy, uh, if I were you guys, wait about eight to 10 seconds. What this is doing is the controller and also the cartridge um, uh, cartridge slot is uh, configuring to make sure it works on your phone. Uh, you won't get any notification or anything like that, but after 10 seconds, you should start working. Okay, next thing we're gonna do um, to um, almost finish our setup process is we're going to configure the buttons so that way the buttons work correctly with your phone so there's a wrench right here on the emulator and you're gonna hit this and there's a section called input you're gonna hit this and we're pretty much just gonna map the keys to um, the smart boy so that way um, you actually have a, a proper controller to work with it so we just go to key mappings and as you can see we have all these various ones so for left Select, excellent. Okay, 
Now here's a little tricky part. So the way that this emulator works is normally now that you're done mapping, you'd want to hit the back button. Do not hit the back button. Reason being is that for some reason this emulator thinks that you're trying to exit and it'll exit without you without your configuration is being saved. So you'll drive yourself crazy trying to keep on doing it over and over and over again. So what we have to do, unfortunately, is we actually have to take out the phone and hit back. And it saves it that way. So, yeah, I know it's weird. Our next step, which would be actually, that was probably the hardest part of the initial setup for the Smart Boy, is that we are going to have to install the actual Smart Boy application. So, as stated before, if you go to our GitHub page right here that's on your box, you will have the ability to install uh, the application. So, if we were to go to our actual folder where everything is stored, which is usually um, a, fi uh, a files folder, here in Samsung, it's under the Samsung folder. In your phone, it might be called My Files or something else. But this is pretty much what you got to do so you can browse your history. So this right here is your Smart Boy app. Mind you, if you download it straight from your phone um, and from our GitHub website, um, you should be able to run it no problem. However, for the sake of the video, we went ahead and um, downloaded it already. So what you need to do is just hit your package installer, and it's going to be like, OK, and install. And it's done. And there you go. So it's going to ask you for a bunch of permissions. So just make sure you allow. And right here, this is actually kind of an important one. So if you are on an um, Android device that is um, Android 6.0 or above, uh, you will probably get this saying, like, will you allow permit drawing over other apps? Please select yes. For anything under, you may not get this. However, um, it would probably install automatically. So once that is done, you're pretty much ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to uh, show you guys how to actually start playing the game. So first thing you're going to want to do is, of course, insert your phone into the Smart Boy. Make sure it's nice and tight. And as stated earlier, whenever you insert your phone to the Smart Boy, it will take about 8 to 10 seconds for your phone to register the entire device. So after that a lot of seconds, you will then give them the option to enter what is we call our super secret cheat code to bypass something that you can't, uh, specifically this part, where you can't hit anything else because it's blocking your screen. So, so if you go down, down, right, A, you actually get rid of it. So as you can see, it says it has what we're running and our baud rate and all that other good stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a cartridge. Uh, as you can see, we're going to be playing Mega Man. So After the game has been successfully dumped, you would then see this message that it created a ROM called smartboy.gb. So you would just hit my old boy. Okay. And it will then create an area called Hyperkin Smartboy Serial, which is where you'll find it. So from now on, your every time you hit Smartboy, it will now come to this file location. So if we just hit play or click on this, you would see that we actually have the actual version of the game running. So. so as you can see. And just to give you guys a small glimpse, as you can see, everything's up and running. Um, we can actually maybe increase the volume. And just to show you guys a little bit more that the cartridge is required at all times. It... So if you guys do remove the cartridge at any point, you will then be given this notice saying, you know, don't steal video games. So, um, yeah. So as you can see, cartridges are required at all times. So uh, once you do insert it, it would 
it should go away almost immediately. So, see? And that's it. So, um, that long process of setup is not necessary. That was a one-time setup. So, from now on, um, after you have configured the emulator and all that other stuff, um, all you would need to do is insert your phone, go to the Smart Boy Serial app. From there, you wait about 8 to 10 seconds for everything to re register. You pop in your cartridge, and you're pretty much ready to go. You know, rinse and repeat. All right. I hope you guys enjoy your Smart Boy. Please keep on accessing our GitHub page so that way we can now we make things a little bit better, but so that way we can also create some new awesome features. All right. Thank you all.